Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike Smith. I'm the incident commander out here on the Alexander Mountain Fire. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I've got some updates for today, what's been happening, and uh, hopefully where we're going in the next few days. So behind me, you can see I'm out here at Sylvandale Ranch, and uh, we just had the state of Colorado's uh, multi-mission aircraft, which is an aircraft that can provide us with a bunch of intelligence, video, infrared, fly over the fire. Our updated acreage is 1,820. It's a pretty significant increase from yesterday. Uh, with the low relative humidities overnight, uh, we really saw the fire continue to burn throughout the night. And once the sun came up this morning, uh, most of you that live out in the valley uh, probably saw, saw it standing up. Uh, currently, we have about 220 or so people working the fire on the ground, and then we have numerous aviation assets, helicopters, and fixed-wing aircraft. Uh, we'll start dropping retardant here pretty quickly. The smoke had to lift out for us to get some good work done, but it took us some time to get there. So uh, currently now, uh, off to the west of the fire, it's pretty much holding in the Cedar Creek area. I don't expect that to, to hold for very long, but we do have folks working in that area. Off 34, it's worked its way about one third of the way down the canyon, but it's gonna run out of fuel. It gets really rocky in there, and I think we're gonna have really great success in that little area. It's still up uh, on the mountain, about a half a mile from Sylvandale Ranch, and it's slowly backing and moving to the north. Um, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Where we get into our challenges are on the north and the west. We're still trying to work out our best plan of uh, attack to uh, get around this thing, but there are some challenges directly north. But again, we've got folks working this. We got a lot of aircraft working. We have ordered what's called a complex incident management team. So we'll be getting team one out of the Southwest and they'll be coming in to take over the fire. They bring a lot more people and equipment that we just don't have currently with the national preparedness level of five. So that means there just aren't very many teams or assets available. So we will continue to put these up updates out uh, as we can. And I would ask if you have more information, uh, check out nocoalerts.org uh, and or go to our INSA website. So thanks for tuning in and we'll talk again soon. Bye.